Namaste. Welcome to this exciting episode of Satology Debunking Mythology. Today we are going to talk about the power of mind. I was going through NLP and uh, natural language processing or neuro language processing, neuro linguistic processing, many names are there. Unlocking the brain waves and many other things. Now we all know how the brain functions, many doctors have spoken, so called neurologists have spoken, many other data is there. I will take you to the ancient technique based on yoga and I am the author of this book and I study my own book to understand more because when I was writing it I was researching it and practicing it also. And with the help of this book, I designed the TME, Transcending the Mind Experience course, which will be phenomenal for most of you who are in professional worlds as well as academic worlds or in the spiritual world, practicing spirituality. The, when you want to unlock the power of mind, it's a very, in my research, it's a very faulty statement and uh, when I say why faulty is because we are tr you what are you are trying to unlock? Unlock the power of mind. The mind is made up due to your past karma. So it does not have the power to unlock because you are already living your karma and so what are you trying to unlock? And that is a fake thing going on in the world today. You don't have, you cannot unlock something which you've already done in the past. So what you're today is the place or the situation you are in is because of your past karma. Believe me or not believe me, doesn't matter to me. Because I have, I'm here to tell you the truth. How you can unlock the power of intelligence? That's what you should say. Intelligence is also through past karma, but living it to the full potential is what you can do. So number one step, understanding the, that the mind functions with five vritti. And the vritti is smriti, vikalpa, viparyaya, praman and nidra. These are the five vritti. So you have to subdue the vritti. There are two methods there, abhyas and vairagya. Abhyas is practice and vairagya means detachment. And when you, say, when you talk about abhyas, it is in three categories, slow, medium, fast and consistent, not just doing it today and you will feel benefit immediately and then leaving it tomorrow. And Vairagya means detachment from anything seen or heard. Whatever you have seen or saw and what you heard, you detach from it. That is called Vairagya. Practice these two things. And I also practice it as much as I can and I am telling you with practice. I am going to tell you what I follow. And and Patanjali, when he talks about these two things, is corroborated by Bhagavad Gita. Krishna Bhagavan also says the same thing. Abhyasena, Vairagena, Chai Diyate. He says, same thing, same two words are being used there. You cannot become a good meditator or you cannot practice good meditation if you don't follow these two things. The culmination the vehicle through which you attain higher power than what your past karma is, is built on these principles. You do not control the mind, you cannot modify the mind, there is no such thing as subconscious mind. These are all marketing terms designed to spend you more, so that you can spend more money. I am going to tell you the truth because that is the traditional way, traditional way 
Patanjali, what he says is traditional way. What Bhagavad Gita says, Bhagavad Purana says is traditional way. You don't have to fall for false techniques. It's very simple. And when you try to subdue this vritti, there are specific methods to do it. It becomes very easy. The first is Ishwar Pranidhan. And you can join my programs, my classes, and I can show you more detail. This is just a video to introduce you to these topics. Ishwar Pranidhan. When you do Ishwar Pranidhan, means meditating on Ishwar. You need to have vehicle so you can move beyond your karma, move beyond your past karma. Your mind, intelligence, and your body has come from a past karma. If you do not accept this, you cannot go forward. If you think you, you don't believe in this, then this video is not for you. You don't have to watch this video any further. You can just drop out. If you want to follow the proper path, then you have to accept that what you are today is based on your past karma. And you are responsible for that karma. That's why you're living the life today. If you accept this position, then you can move forward because you need to have a stepping place. So like just like in a staircase, we are at a level one. First staircase, there's probably 100 staircases to go. Level one. So unless your both your feet are stable on the one, you cannot move to step two. So if you want to move to step two, you have to understand where you are right now. Note it down. And then you start moving. Don't waste your time if you don't accept the basic facts. You have to come to, in terms of the reality about yourself first. You are at step one. Just stay there. Now, if you know you are on step one, you are stable. Now we move to the next step. That's how it moves. Step by step. You just cannot jump. I'll tell you the process of jump also. But before that, you have to accept this. I, I am seeing many videos. People are talking about Gayatri Mantra and the power. I will come to all those mantras separately. Ishwar Pranidhan. We are going to take a vehicle to move forward. In practice, if you want to see, you have to join my courses where you can practice it where I can guide you in person. But otherwise, you have to first accept where you are and now you have to move forward based on that. How do you move forward? You need a vehicle. If the stairs are steep, you need to hold something to it. And your goal is to subdue the vritti. Don't forget the goal. Five vrittis are there. You can read in my book. There's a book. Smriti, Viparya, Vikalpa, Nidra and Pramar. These are the five vritti. Your goal is to subdue these five vritti. Because if you don't do these basic steps, you cannot move forward. Many techniques are there. I was facing some problem today and I am practicing some of these techniques and I have immediate benefit. How do you move forward from a current position? Step two. Number one, abhyas, practice on step one. Take the example of ladder. You are step one, practice here. What you need to practice? Number one, you need to write down your pramana definition. Pramana means experiences. What you see, what you infer, and what you've heard based on which your reality is made. Write it down about your current status of mind. What you see, what you infer, and what you have heard or read. Then, you have to also write down apparent misconceptions, viparyaya. Third, you have to write it down on a piece of paper is vikalpa. 
that means you have to write it down on paper that that the what you have read or heard but you have not experienced it that's vikalpa then you have to write down the the what you have experienced smriti based on what you heard or seen and and you have to also write down what you have neither heard nor nor experienced but would you like to do that that means you are unaware of those situations that's nidra when you do this exercise then you this is the, this is who you are right now and for more practical i know it's difficult it looks very abstract but then the context in which i'm trying to say is is in the context of when you want to progress on the spiritual path when you want to so in that context i'm saying what you seen what is heard again reverse the video and re- see here again so you can write it down once you write these things down now this next step begins abhyas what i want you to do is for each of these categories which i said which i defined earlier you have to write down what is the state of mind you want to achieve number 2 and at this time you need the help of a vehicle vehicle means on which you can hold on to when you go the best vehicle is your teacher so you hold on to his instructions and he guides you step by step that's how we have program if you don't have a teacher then probably this video can guide you so now you hold on to the instructions the second step is the next step first you wrote down the current status now you write down the abhyas part which is the practice ishwar pranidhan om manjul pe patanjali om this is a vehicle you have to write down all those vrittis that you wrote down and now you have to use a vehicle do not people have give you a lot of mantras and everything else the nlp is a very i mean great sounding term just like you know the five big consulting firms give you these terms all the time and you get these terms and you don't understand head and tail out of it and as you go through training and when you go through training you find out that everything is so normal which you already knew i'm going to tell you which you don't know because most of the people don't follow the book i follow the book is patanjali's yoga sutra and this book right there transcending the mind and now once you wrote down everything you to use the vehicle om and when you are chanting this sound vibration you have to also understand what you are chanting because this vehicle is connected to ishwar ishwar or parmatma means the same thing because if you have to pull your mind you need a very strong pull and this strong pull can come from this chanting and now you are actually practicing nlp but what they teach you in nlp techniques in other places is not they don't know what they're doing so to join our program transcending the mind experience we will go through different vehicles this is one example i said we have different vehicles for every individual based on every three types we help you select a particular vehicle particular mantra and and then you start begin the abhyas slow medium fast and in those manners when you practice certain outcomes start coming in you'll realize that the five vrittis i mentioned you they're going to subdue now when the vrittis subdue your mind becomes clear 
otherwise the mind doesn't become clear. Mind can also become clear by sleeping. But there you are experiencing only one vritti you are subduing, nidra and smriti. Actually only smriti. Smriti means remembrance of past experiences or experiences which is seen or heard. So only one vritti you are subduing, the four are remaining still. So therefore it's incomplete so that when you get up, then again you are lost. We all five have to go. Now, with the Ishwar Pranidhan, the vehicle, the rope which you are holding on, now you can do step by step, climb on it. Initially, the movement is going to be slow. Imagine you are on a hospital bed for a long time and some doctor says, try to walk. And when you put your foot down, your feet have no strength. You cannot stand. So at that time, you need the doctor's help. And the doctor's help, you stand up and you slowly walk. Now you're walking. Abhyasa. Slow, medium, fast. Now when you're using the vehicle of Ishwar Pranidhan through chanting, now you need to practice the third step. Three steps. Documenting vritti. Using the vehicle. Abhyas. And now third is Varagya. Means detachment from everything which is seen or heard. Very simple. Sounds simple. It's not simple. Imagine unlocking the power of mind I'm teaching you. It's a million dollar course. We don't charge that much though. Because we are actually going to take you from zero to hero. And now in the third step, when you go there, detachment from everything which is seen or heard. Sanskrit name is Vairagya. So how do you do it? Again document, paper and pencil, write it down. What are you going to practice now? And when you actually combine the three together, Ishwar Pranidhan, Vairagya, Abhyas and documenting the Vritti, now what happens is, you become completely blank, means peaceful. You are just happy within yourself. Not selfish, but you are just happy. Because the virtis are slow. That means your karma is actually slow. Karma, I mean the outcome of the karma, pradab is actually that's an product means what you are going to experience. So it's actually not affecting much. And now you take the next step. And, and, and when you repeat these steps, three steps, Abhyas, Vairagya and Priti, when you start repeating, now it takes time for the next step to go. It takes more time. More time. But then you start running on the staircase. Then the next stage begins. And you cannot perform more than your previous karma allows you. If anyone tells you that today after doing this course, you will be actually the the smartest man alive on the planet. That's not going to happen. You will be as good as your previous karma. And you can become the better version of yourself with the previous karma. You don't get what you cannot get. You don't have the capacity, you didn't pay for it. So you don't understand the limitation also. So not everybody will make the same progress. Because your karma limits that. And that is the truth of the matter. 
So how do you go past the limits of your karma? I'm going to cover that in the next show. Do like, share, subscribe, let people know and join the TME course. We give you basics and we have other courses also. And if you want to join our regular program, regular classes, do sign up for the program. The link is there. Come on the Telegram channel and we'll talk about it in more detail. So till then, Namaste and thank you.